Four beauty pageant finalists were preparing for their last performance. Oh, no. Suddenly, Helen discovered that someone had ruined her evening gown. Helen questioned the other girls. Courtney said she'd been having her makeup done. The stylist could confirm that. Jennifer was too busy talking to the reporters, and Kelly was taking pictures for her Instagram. Who ruined Helen's outfit? It was Jennifer. Take a look at her hair. She's hiding scissors. Three clocks are hanging on the wall, but only one of them is trustworthy. Which one? There's a spider web on the hands of the first clock. It means they haven't moved for a long time. The time this clock shows can't be correct. The second clock has some of its numbers positioned in the wrong order. 12 and 9 are mixed up, but the third clock looks trustworthy. Professor Harold left his office at about 9 p.m. He got caught in heavy rain on the way home. It was raining all night and the next morning, Professor Harold was late for work because of traffic jams. When he finally arrived at his office, he found that someone had broken the lock and covered all the walls with graffiti. The man interrogated four suspects who had recently failed his test. Jenny said she'd done yoga and gone to bed early. Rick was in the gym all evening. Lily was hanging out with her boyfriend in the park, gazing at stars. And Vicky worked the night shift at the movie theater. Who's lying? It's Lily. It was raining all night and she couldn't be watching stars in the park. Take a look at the picture. Can you spot a thief? He's hiding behind this tree. Parents went to the country and left their son Jim and their dog Chuck alone for one evening. It was Friday night and Jim decided to throw a party. He invited three of his friends. When they came over, Chuck began to bark at the guests. So Jim locked the dog in his parents' bedroom. Half an hour later, Jim decided to visit the pet. But when he opened the door, he discovered the dog was gone, even though all the windows were closed. Jim questioned his guests. Rob had been playing video games. Nora had been recording a TikTok dance in the living room. And Dan had been making snacks in the kitchen together with Jim. Who stole the dog? Jim's parents pranked him. See, they're hiding in the bushes, and the dog is with them. Kelly invited her besties over to have a pajama party, but one of the people in the room is a thief. Who? The thief is hiding under the bed. Look at the picture. Who will manage to escape the prison? the first prisoner. The lock is already open in this ward, and the second prisoner has yet to pick the lock. Look at the picture. Can you find the odd flower? It's this little one in the left corner. Detective Daniel was asked to come to a hotel. Someone had robbed the most expensive room there, the detective checked the footage from the security cameras, but didn't see anything suspicious. He questioned the hotel guests. Karen showed him a theater ticket and said she'd visited the opera the evening before. Jane was very tired, so she went home and fell asleep. Harold spent his evening by the swimming pool and didn't notice anything suspicious. Can you help Detective Daniel to identify the robber? Jane was a hotel guest. Why would she go home to sleep? Walter came to visit his girlfriend Becky at work. She was a barista at a scientific research center. When Walter entered the coffee shop, 
he saw two Beckys quarreling with each other. When they spotted the man, each of them shouted, Kick her out! She's my evil clone! Help Walter identify the real Becky. Take a look at the coffee shop logo. The logo on the uniform of the girl standing on the left looks weird. She must be the clone. Look at these monkeys. Three of them are different from the others. Can you see them? This monkey is holding its baby. This one hiding a banana. And this monkey is looking in the opposite direction. Parents helped three friends, Brian, Aaron, and Henry, pack for their first day of school. Take a look at the guys. Whose parent is the most inattentive? Henry is holding a lunchbox full of delicious homemade food. Brian's textbook has a post-it note, Love Mom, on it. He probably has a caring mother. And Aaron is wearing a t-shirt over his jacket. Plus, his socks are different and untidy. It's unlikely that an attentive parent would have let him go out like this. On his 50th birthday, Gerald got a weird call from his ex-girlfriend, Debbie. They dated in college when Gerald was 24. Debbie confessed they had a daughter, Vicky. On her 25th birthday, Vicky learned the truth about her real father and ran away from home. Gerald promised Debbie to find Vicky and hired an investigator. Next week, the detective brought three young ladies to Gerald's house. Help the man identify his real daughter. This is the third girl. She has red hair, like Gerald, and gray eyes, like Debbie. Peter came back home in the middle of the working day because he had left his cell phone in the apartment. In the living room, he saw his roommate Brian lying on the couch unconscious. A paramedic was standing next to him. He said that Brian had been poisoned. Fortunately, he managed to call an ambulance before passing out. Peter took his phone and immediately called the police. The guy said that a fake paramedic had broken into his house and poisoned his roommate. How did Peter figure it out? In front of the house, there's only one car, and it's not an ambulance. Rob and Jessica Yay! celebrated their honeymoon on a luxurious cruise liner. But suddenly, the weather changed, and the ship got in a terrible storm. After the storm, Rob found his wife unconscious in their cabin. The safe was open, all their money and jewelry were gone. Uh -oh. Jessica told Rob that she'd hit her head during the storm and passed out. Rob investigated this crime along with the ship's staff. They found three suspects. Alex claimed that during the storm, he'd stayed in his bathroom because he'd been feeling very sick. Eric was lifting a barbell in the gym. He was a professional bodybuilder. And Tom said he'd been sleeping. Rob knew that for sure two people had lied to him. Who exactly? Eric couldn't have been lifting a barbell during the storm. And if you take a closer look at Jessica, you'll see that her pockets are filled with jewelry and bills. This means they're both involved in the scam. Gemma woke up in a mysterious castle. She walked around the building searching for an exit. Soon, the girl got exhausted and hungry. That's when Gemma found the kitchen. She noticed four dishes on the table. They looked great, but she wasn't sure if it was safe to eat them. Help uh -oh. Gemma to determine which food is safe. Take a closer look at the soup. Can you see human eyes in it? The steak has poison on it. There are spiders in the burgers. But the pasta looks pretty harmless. Look at these women attentively. There's a thief among them. Can you identify the criminal? It's the third woman. She's holding the phone that belongs to the fourth lady. 
Her portrait is printed on the phone case. In the morning, Dr. Jill arrived at the hospital and went to the ward to meet new patients. When Jill saw them, she understood immediately that one of the patients was fake. Which one? It's the first patient. The hair color of the woman in the photo is different from hers. Nurse Zoe received an anonymous message claiming that a vampire had broken into the hospital. While inspecting the wards, Zoe ran into three people in the hallway, Jules, Sam, and Debbie. Help Zoe figure out which of them is the real vampire. Debbie has red lipstick all over her face because she came over to visit her boyfriend, Sam. Look, they're secretly holding hands. Sam also has traces of Debbie's red lipstick on his face and neck. And Jules is carrying a huge backpack with a red stain. She must have stolen some donated blood. It was Halloween night and Joy was preparing her house for a party. Suddenly, a group of people in scary costumes rang Joy's doorbell and shouted, Trick or treat! Joy went to the kitchen, opened the fridge, and found out that all sweets prepared for unexpected guests oh, no. had disappeared. She called her three sisters and questioned them. Beth said she'd been taking a bath. Mary had been out buying decorations for the birthday party. And Erica was watching a tutorial. She wanted to have the best Halloween makeup. Which sister took the candies? Mary. She said she had bought some birthday decorations, but it was a Halloween party. Nancy has been dreaming of visiting an exhibition of her favorite artist for ages. When the exhibition finally arrived in her town, Nancy called three of her friends to invite them to go with her, but they all refused. Wendy said she was going to a concert and had already bought the tickets. Shannon said she was sick and didn't want to leave home. And Vicky had to take her sister to a dance class. Nancy got upset and decided to put off her visit to the museum until the next day. After a couple of hours, Nancy looked through her friend's social media and got very angry. One of her friends lied to her. Who was the liar? It was Shannon. She's in Wendy's picture from the concert. 